so when you go through a spiritual awakening, you will also embark on a journey of growth, personal development, and transformation. Now, what will happen is that, so this is the video for the chosen ones, okay? You're not chosen. Don't uh, try to squeeze this kind of content in your, in your head. You're going to get confused because the content doesn't fit. Now, you will embark on this journey of growth and development. And then, you know, you will decide to leave the old life behind. You will decide to leave uh, people behind, you know, family, old circles, friends, stuff like that. Now, remember that as a chosen person, life hasn't been easy. So it has been... It hasn't been a walk in the park. It has been really hard. Most likely, you've been in a very difficult, uh, you're from a very difficult family, toxic family, narcissistic family. You know, maybe your mom was a sociopath, maybe your father was a, psy a psychopath, you know, those kind of people. So what really happens is that when you, have, when you have snapped out of this bubble, it's going to be like you are taking a different route and you're following a different perspective. You're changing a lot of things. You're moving. You want to go higher. So you may decide to embark on a spiritual journey. Most likely you're going to embark. This is something I think is inevitable. You're going to embark on your spiritual journey. Now remember that when you are evolving, there have been people that used to be around you so many years ago. Okay, you have been having family members, you've been with them the last 25 years, maybe 30 years or so. So these people now, remember that you have gone through a lot as an individual. Probably at some point in your life, you used to be a drug addict. Probably at some point in your life, there is things, horrible things that have happened to you. There have been places you have been. There are even some chosen ones. I think I've done a video on this. There are some chosen ones that have even been prostitutes. There is chosen ones, if you do not know, guys, that those chosen ones have been prostitutes at some point. So life hasn't been fair. And you have been really put in places and situations that you never really wanted to be. Now, during this journey of growth, post-awakening, you're going on this journey of evolution and growth. So you're leaving that life behind. You may be a person who will be like, okay, you don't want to be out there selling your body. You don't want to go there, you know, stripping for other people. You don't want to go there, deal with all these drugs. You don't want to go there, get involved in the drugs and stuff like that. All these activities that used to be a part of you way back in time. You're like, you're going to, leave, you're going to need to leave these things behind. Because you see, now you understand that all these things was keeping you in a cycle. So you was living in your lowest self. So you are choosing to leave those things behind. You're like, okay, you're going to live a better life. You want to change something about your life. You want to heal. You know, you are healing all those things that made you do those kind of things. Now you see, there's a challenge with this uh, process. So why do I call it a challenge? Because I know it. These people that have been with you over the years, those are the people that believe and think they know you the most. Now remember, they're not going to accept that transformation. They will refuse it. They will reject it. They are going to reject your transformation. This is one of the things you need to prepare for. Your family is going to reject your transformation. Your closest friends, your besties, they will reject your transformation. Those will be the very first people to abandon you. So if you don't know that already, be prepared for that. It's going to happen if you chose one. Now, what is really going to happen is that these are people who are going to be sitting behind the scenes and watching you from a distance. Let us see how far she can go. Let us see how far he can go. He thinks he can go so far without us. Let us see. They are, they are watching you from a distance. Your haters are going to be your biggest audience. Is the reason as to why you see sometimes you have 
you know, there's these videos that we make. Sometimes you can see uh, a video has like 10,000, 100,000 views. And then you can see the likes is like 300, 400 likes out of 10 to 20,000 views. Your haters are watching you the most. So, there's two things that will happen. Number one, you need to believe and understand, not believe, you, you need to understand. They are going to want to bring you down. So they don't want you in that spotlight. And they will, be, they will feel like you don't deserve the spotlight and they want to bring you down. So what is really going to happen is they are going to now start to bring up the past, you know. For them, because they will look for which way can they use to bring you down. They are finding any possible way to bring you down. They don't want, they don't want you in that spotlight. So now they are going to remember your past. It could be your past mistakes because remember that you have left the old version of you behind you. You're stepping into the new version of you. So what these people now do, they are going to start bringing up your past. So they will go around smearing your name. They will go around telling everybody, oh, you know that, that woman, she was, uh, she used to be, a, 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 what do they call it? She used to be a, a prostitute. That woman used to work in the strip club, you know. Now she's out there doing this or doing that. But remember, you guys have to know that woman is a prostitute. She, is a, she used to work in the strip club and stuff like that. Now, they are doing this because there is people that you're inspiring that don't know anything about you. The only thing that people are seeing, they are meeting the new version of you. So they don't know the old version of you. But then there is people who know the old version of you. They know you from 10, 20 years ago. So you have the people who are coming into your life, who are going to walk with you along, in your, uh, along with you on your journey. And then you have the people that you left back 20 years ago that know what you was or who you was 20 years ago. Those people are going to be intimidated by your success. So what is really going to happen is that those people that you left back in so many years, you left where they are, you left them where they are, they have never done any growth on themselves, they are still going in the same cycles. Those people are going to try to bring you down. Not that they will win, because they can only bring down a person who will accept to go down with them. It's not that they will win, but they are going to try to do that. So it's why you may start, sometimes start to hear the most horrible things you have never anticipated in your life. You will hear the most disturbing things coming from people. Oh, somebody told us you used to be a, a, a drug, a drug, what are they, a drug lord. Somebody told us you used to be, uh, what do they call it, a porn actor. Somebody told us you used to be a prostitute. You used to work in a strip club. So this past is being brought about to discredit you. So they want to discredit your success. So that the people that are following you or the people that are watching you, you know, they will be like, oh, you know, I don't know if we need to continue watching this guy because somebody told us many years ago they used to be a prostitute and they're like, they don't understand that you have actually transformed. So many people who have known you way back in time, so many years ago, they will not accept the new version of you. They are going to wish that you can continue to be that same person you used to be 10 years ago. But they don't actually know that you have already left that energy. You have already stepped into a new energy. An energy which is going to make you a better person so that you can be able to become your greatest version. They are going to bring up the past. They are going to try to bring you down. They are going to try to pull you down. So usually one of the things you are going to realize, let me tell you something about these chosen ones. There is something you guys are going to have to realize. When you're moving ahead in life, you are not going to need to take all baggage with you. And that baggage is going to include people. It's going to include family members. It's going to include the people that you used to know. You are going to not going to need that baggage because if you continue to drag on and carry on with that baggage, somewhere along your journey, that baggage is going to become a problem. It's going to become a problem because you are moving or going somewhere they are not. 
you are heading into directions they can only dream about. You are trying to do things they can only think about, they can only anticipate, they cannot even start. So because now it becomes very uncomfortable, they don't know what to do with you. What are we going to do with this person? You're in the spotlight, you know. You have written some books. People are starting to buy your books. You're a very big author. You know, you have published a couple of books. You have uh, started moving your movie careers. You know, people are calling you for contracts. You have started uh, speaking, motivational speaker. They are calling you for conferences and stuff like that. Now these people don't know what to do with you. You're going to go for a, a conference. You know, you're going to go for a, a public meeting or public whatever. You're going to be called, invited in big positions, you know. Could be a speaker, could be, could be anything. But let me tell you something. In the audience, your mates and old friends won't be there. Those people are not going to be in the audience. They will refuse to come. So if you're doing what I'm doing, for example, you are on these so social media channels and what, TikToks and Instagrams, there's not going to be any comment from your family members. You will not see. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You are not going to see a comment from your family members. The first people that are supposed to comment on your channel, they will refuse. They will look the other side. So when you hear people talking about this thing of jealousy, this thing is real, ladies and gentlemen. It is real, as real as it can get. So if you're on these journeys, on these, uh, you know, uh, transformation uh, journeys and stuff like that, be prepared for the hate. The hate will come. Jealous and hatred, that one will come. That thing is a spirit. It's inevitable. So the people will continue to hate on you. So the only way, like I've said, they will think about bringing you down is when they can find something they can say about your past. They can only remember the things that happened 20 years ago. So they refuse to accept the new version of you. They can only remember the old version of you. And they are going to use that against you. So do not be surprised when you start hearing those things in the corridors. People are starting to show up and they are telling you, oh, so-and-so told us this. Is it true? So-and-so told us that. Is it true? Those things are going to start happening. You know? <coughs> and your reaction will be very important. How do you want to react to that BS, because they need your reaction. They need you to start reacting and, you know, they need to drive you very far away from your purpose so that you cannot be able to do what it is needs to be done. So those are the so-called haters, okay? Your haters will always bring up your past against you. I'm pretty much sure that many of you guys have been through this. If that has been your experience, it's one of the things you need to know. Do not react. Your past has nothing to do with you. That part of you is gone. The old version of you is gone. A new version of you has been born. So you are now walking into your greatest version. And do not let those noises and background noise keep you off of your path because you have got a very dirty past. Everybody has got a very dirty past. But if you have left it behind and transformed into a, a, a newer version of you, then keep on doing that you're doing. Let them talk. Okay? Let them continue talking and let them continue discrediting you. When the time is right, they will keep on, you know, they will shut down and keep their mouth shut. So drop us a comment in the comments, uh, in the section below. Let us know what you think. Like the page, share, subscribe. You guys know I do love and appreciate your support. You may book a session if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's a signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.